try this again. Okay, Steven is on the play. Both players have kept seven. We're going to start off with Grief. Pitching. Point, point one, one more for the oh, road, I guess. Uh, Pitching thought sees. The hand gets revealed. Needle, crop rotation, wasteland, Urza Saga, ancient tomb, another Urza Saga, Bajuka Bog is what I see. Most likely we're taking crop rotation here. Yep. And then reanimating grief, taking the pithing needle. Got it. You get all your lands. So an early scam here in game one. But the lands deck tends to not be too worried about scam. I mean, you know, Greg's hand is pretty good right now still. Urza Saga into Ancient Tomb, not too bad. There's Urza Saga as a turn one play and a Mox Diamond discarding Wasteland. Wasteland unlikely to be super relevant in this matchup. Okay, so now Greg will have an opportunity here to play a land that is not Ancient Tomb, thanks to the Mox Diamond. It will be Yavamaya and can start pumping out Constructs, and um, the Constructs will win, win the race against Grief, so we'll see how this plays out. Play it's pretty good. Yeah. Dorothy Voidwalker, not too bad. It's uh, good against Life from the Loam. And, um, okay, made a Construct on end step. The wrong Construct token. We'll just put that in the notes. Now... Before chapter three, what are we doing? Looks like we're making a second construct and going to pop Urza Saga now. Dothy Voidwalker pointed out here. It gets a void counter and Greg will search. So no threat of opposition agent. Not this time. It will be expedition map. Sure, really initiative. Okay. I'll make it a little side light. Ready? Pass. Yeah. Uh, saga. Playing a second copy of Urza Saga. No attacks there with the construct. It was a 4 4 construct. Can keep them back to block grief, I guess? I mean. Hmm. K1. Yeah. Swing six. Okay, abrupt decay takes out a construct. Yes, they can tap for green thanks to Yavamaya. Greg will take six, dropping down to eight. So the plan of not attacking didn't go so well, I guess. Abrupt decay, I mean, um, Urza Saga ticks up to two. Abrupt decay took out a construct. Can start making more constructs now. Currently, three artifacts on the battlefield. One of them is Expedition Map, which. Could be sacked to look for something interesting, like, well, okay, Thespian Stage just hit, so it could be Dark Depths. That's fine. Could also potentially see the Tabernacle of Pendril Vale, Maze of Ith. I don't think Glacial Chasm will be in the deck. I don't think we even want that right now. Okay, an abrupt decay on the construct that was already in play in response to the creation of a new one. Greg will take six, drop to two. Sure, Dorothy Voidwalker has shadow. Where's the saga? Ticks up to three. Yeah, I was just waiting while we spam it. And I had, I had um, another initiative creature in my hand. Do with me as you want. Okay. Popping a second copy of Urza Saga here. Going to search. What do we find this time as DJ Fluffy Toon arrives? Well, yeah, it actually was a liability. 
Shadow Spear, not the worst. Could help the situation. The constructs are now 5-5s. Five Equipped with Shadow Spear, that would be 6-6 six, six lifelink. Steven is tapped out. Ancient Tomb. Yep. Mm. Ancient Tomb uh, can't be tapped now. Greg scoops it up. Okay, so Steven gets game one. All right. That card Abrupt Decay is pretty good. It's a tile. Keep. Okay. So Greg has kept seven. Let's see what Steven does. I'll try this. I'll keep. Go. Turn one, Elvish Reclaimer. Okay. No turn one scam this time, just a basic swamp pass. Urza Saga comes back in. Okay, much slower start for her Steven this time. Here's Ancient Tomb. There's a saga will tick up to two, so can now start um, making some constructs. Reclaimer will attack. Go ahead. Scary. Um, Okay, that was a Harvester of Misery, killing Elvish Reclaimer. Get the text for that up on the screen. I feel like I'm a Harvester of Misery. Okay, Magus of the Moon. Okay, I did not expect that one. Making a construct in response before Urza's Saga dies. Okay, crop rotation also in response. Finding Dark Depths. Okay. Okay. This got interesting. Trigger. Take four. All right, so with the uh, killing of Magnus in the Moon, Greg gets a Merit Lage, attacks with it, and the game ends. Oops. So now Greg will be on the play. I'm not sure what's happening here. I mean, now Steven will be on the play. Sorry. One card on the bottom. Okay. Multi six, cracking a Bloodstained Mire. Basic Swamp, okay. Yeah, we haven't seen any of the Monty Python cards on stream yet. It really is a shame that nobody is respecting uh, the newest version rule. Thought Seas, Ramanap Excavator, Mox Diamond, Expiration, Dismember, Soul Guy Lantern. I believe that's Besaju who endures and a Thespian Stage. Uh, I would guess Expiration is the take here. Steven trying to think about what to take here. It's got to be exploration, I think. Take the dismember. Sure. 
Okay, going for dismember. This is tap because I used it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was just making sure you have it. Okay, stage, Mox Diamond, discard Besage you, Exploration, play Maze of Ith. Alright. And then Soul Guy Lantern. Exiling Thought Seas from the Graveyard, Ramanop Excavator, their last remaining card in Greg's hand. Draw. Okay, and now. Still your turn. Yeah. Second main. Energy C, destroy. Uh. Cycle Troll. Okay, uh, sure. Cycling Troll of Kazadoom. With the Maze of Ith on the battlefield, reanimating this is not very exciting. There's also a Soul Guy Lantern on the battlefield, but let's just say Greg chooses not to do it. And Troll enters. Not very exciting. Here's Bayou. So Steven... As, as you can tell from watching this match, playing mono black in spirit, but there are some splashes here of both green and red. We saw Magus of the Moon, Abrupt Decay. Looked for a Bayou this time with the Swamp Cycle. Looks like it's been played. Not sure what other green cards are in the deck. As you can see from Steven's playmat, very much dedicated to the mono black lifestyle, I would say. Grief pitching, grief. No, grief pitching, Dothy Voidwalker, excuse me. So grief will go to the graveyard. Ramanop Excavator will join. Pass the turn. Yeah. Yep. Nurturing Peatland. But, but let's, say, let's say the item sells for $5. Yeah, I think I just cycle this. Sacks it to draw a card, finds a ghost corner. Okay. <coughs> Null rod, not too bad. All right, popping the soul guy lantern in response. Heads up there. Pass the turn. Um. Mm. Okay, there's Shadow Spear. It cannot equip. Got it. Super. Yeah. Yeah. You should have one land. Go. One land. Yes. Okay, Orcish Bowmaster flashes in. Deal one damage to Greg. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Capcom. Swing. Uh, Bowmasters, sure. Okay. I'll just pass. Well, Steven has a very slow clock of this Bowmaster and Orc army up against a Maze of Ith. Wasteland on Bayou. Is that Orc army token in a top loader chat? How do we feel about that? Thanks, Al. Three cards in Steven's hand. Ancient Tomb for Greg, who can potentially... I mean, there's a lot of different things that could happen here. There's the possibility of making a merit layer. There's the possibility of just finding a reclaimer, slowing down the offense completely. Okay, it looks like Thespian Stage has become a copy of Maze of Ith now. Troll. Uh, wasteland, go. Okay, another Wasteland for Greg. Uh, thank you. Mm -hmm. Cycle troll. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Cycling troll of Kazadoom on end step. Yeah. One. Yep. Take three. Seven. Okay. Mm -hmm. 
Okay, both mazes of Ith. One of them is a copy used here to uh, hold off the attackers and then just passing the turn. So not much action from Steven right now. Greg playing some defense, building up resources for late game plays. I'll drop the K, one of the uh, knights. So that goes into my graveyard then? It'll go, it'll it'll go, back, it'll it'll go back to exile. It'll go to exile, so then mm -hmm. I'll take three, yeah, uh, four. Yeah, so I go to three. Okay, leaving Thespian stage available this time. That's a little bit scary. Reanimating the troll. Eleven. Sure. I will. So you, you still have to obey my timing. Yeah. 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 You can't cast a yeah. creature on my turn. Uh, right, right. right. I can't, uh, unless it has uh, flasher in some way sure. allows me to, then yeah, I can't cast it. Okay, Ghost Quarter on Ancient Tomb, floating two mana. Uh, two floating. Yep. Looks for a basic forest or a two mana floating. Okay, crop rotation the wasteland, three colorless mana floating. Oh yep. uh, so I have three mana floating. Uh, use two of them to activate. When the uh, last dark depths trigger is on the stack, I'm gonna trophy the, the stage that's about to become dark depths. Okay. okay, so an assassin's trophy doing the job that we usually see Wasteland do here, blowing up the copy of Dark Depths with its ability on the stack, and Greg will shuffle, fail to find. Assassin's Trophy prevents a Merit Lage from being created here. Yeah, I think we did hear my voice in the background, and uh, I don't know. We'll keep an eye on that. You're at 11? Yep. Both players are at 11, I believe. Uh, so no <laughs> Go to 10. Greg lost a lot of resources just now. A little bit of a blowout with the Assassin's Trophy. Down to just two lands in play. One of them is Maze of Ith, which could hold off the troll. Yeah, those are going to This actually, this actually was in Void Walker. No, but Void Walker was still in play before it was all. One card? So it actually was still in the... Yeah, you're right, you're right. Okay, so this is a Void Walker. Those are trying to keep track. Yeah, yeah, you're good. This is Exile. Those are Exile with this, so yeah, that's fine. That's the Max. Okay. After that, I am... Magus of the Moon gets the scoop. Wow. Is Magus of the Moon on the watch list? Does anybody know? Can someone check? 